the third video in this fit and strong low impact workout series. Today's workout is going to be cardio burn and Pilates core. You're going to need a set of light and weight and a mat. Once again, welcome to the cardio burn low impact style and Pilates core. You are going to be doing 13 minutes of cardio followed by 13 minutes of Pilates core. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Get your water bottle, your mat, and your light hand weight, and let's go. All right, welcome. 13 minutes in the cardio burn. Step touch. Each exercise is one minute. It doesn't get simpler than that. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Thank you for coming with me today in the Cardio Burn, Low Impact Style, and Pilates Core. I hope you're enjoying all my videos from the Fit and Strong Low Impact Workout Series. Low impact does not mean it is not high intensity. Low impact means we're not jumping, we're not jarring, we're keeping one foot on the ground at all times. Yeah? So give me a little sway with those hips. Got some great music today. Want to warm it up. I want you to get into that natural rhythm. Open up that body, let's have some fun in this cardio burn right here. Just swaying side to side. Four, three. Just do whatever you want with your arms. It feels natural. Two step touches. Arms. They go with the step touch. Right here. Now we're just warming it up. I have two pounds in my hand. Right here. Make him a big step touch. You want to burn those calories. You want to use those arms and those legs at the same time. One, right there. So reach. Woo! Big smile on your face. We're going to work hard today. It will be low impact style. Now give me a single step touch. Four, three, heels now. Heels. Give me those heels. Right, left. Arms press out with those heels. Arms press out with the heels. Right here. Press your arms out. So press the arms straight out at 12 o'clock. Palms face each other. Let's go. Now up. Now if I move too fast, simply slow it down. Four, three, march it right, left, right, and left. Are you ready? Do a mamba right. Up, back, up, back. Now give me a full rotation, bicep curl. Up, back. So it's a right leg coming up and back. Get that hip involved right here. Let's go. Let's use those arms. The entire 13 minutes we're in this cardio burn. We use our arms. Up, back, up, back. Come on. Get that hip involved. That hip swings forward. That hip swings back. Now, if you want to do a little tricep extension at that bottom, feel free to do so because you have light hand weights right here. Give me four more. Four, three. You're going to give me small kicks to the front, right to left, small kick. Opposite arm right here. Now, palm down at the end range. Give me small kicks right here. Now let's move it up for four, back for four, up, 
two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Again, up, two, three, four. Back, four, three. So move it up for four, back for four. Use the space. I want you to move. Keep it going. Come on, let's go. Really move it up. Use those arms and those legs at the same time. One more set. Move it back, please. Listen to me. Give me knees right to left. Elbow. Right here. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Now if that's too hard, just cross. If that's too hard, do a diagonal cross with your weight. If you can, on the side. Good posture. Right here. Now, remember, if that's too hard, right here. Diagonal cross. That's all you have to do. I want you to modify. Go where you need to go. Push. Four, three, two. Squat down and up. Squat. Sit back in your heels. Give me a little hammer curl. Hammer curl. Now down, up, down, down. Lift, down, lower. Come on. Sit back in your heels. Now modify. Hips do not go below 90. Sit in a chair like you're going to sit. Down, lift. Heart rate's up. I know. Heart rate is up. That's what we're doing in this low impact cardio burn. High intensity, but low impact. People think because it's low impact, it's not a good workout. That's a lie. It's a great workout. Now, I want you to pulse at the bottom. Eight, seven. Six, five, listen to me. March it left, right, left and right. Yeah, good. We're gonna do it all on that left side. Step touch, here we go. Now press, the arms down. Give me a little, little of your own flare. It's like a little row with those shoulders. Step touch and a little Row up and down with those arms. You're over halfway in the cardio burn. It's only 13 minutes in the cardio burn. Low impact, joint friendly. High intensity though, yeah? Breathe it through. Now two step touches. Right here, out to the side arms out now if you want great fine another option instead of a step touch it would be two step touches or if you know what a grapevine is grapevine arms when you grapevine once go down and they come back so you have two options I'm just giving you all different options. Lateral movement. Work the floor. Use those arms. Give me one more up and back. Now march it left to right. Are you ready? Mamba, front foot, front and back right here. Let's get that foot front and back. Hip, front and back. Front hip, back hip. Now add the arms. Hmm. 
Come on, you guys. You're working on three minutes left. So I need you to push. This workout goes by fast. High intensity. If you're using those light hand weights, up. Yes. Come on. I really want you to have movement. In through the arms. Meaningful movement. Four more, four more. We're gonna go to kicks. Three, two. Kick it left to right. Now hands here. You can add the punches if you want. Move it up. Move it back for four. Remember, it's up and back for four. Or you wanna make it harder? Punch both arms at the same time. Kick and punch. Both arms back, let's go. Yes, heart rate high, I know. Breathe it through, strong. Low impact, but full of high intensity. One, two, three, four. Come on, push. Chest tall and proud. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Come on, let's go again. Boom. One more, up and back. Are you ready for those knees? Just give me knees left to right. Now, if this is all you can do, this is all I want. In, out, little chest press, in. Come on, you have one more minute after this. We're gonna do air squats. It's gonna really get that final pump. Air squats, low impact, of course. Yeah, don't be afraid. Low impact, arms or shoulder height. 15 more seconds with this exercise. And then one more, we're gonna cool it down, go into Pilates core. You're gonna need your mat. Two more. Squat, down and up. Now air squat, down, up. So down, up, down, up. Feet hip width apart, sit back in your heels. Down, up, down, up. Small movement. Squat, right knee. Squat, now squat. This is it. Now you wanna add, arms up. You can layer, squat, knee. 20 seconds, and we're done with a cardio burn. Breathe it through. Sit back in your heels. Core nice, solid, tight. Four, three, two, one. Step touch. Put your weights away. Keep moving, step touch. Now, Pilates core, you're, all you're gonna need is your mat. If you want a set of light hand weights, you are more than welcome to grab them to challenge you with the Pilates workout. I will have my two pound hand weights. I'll challenge myself for 13 minutes of Pilates core. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more time, guys. Deep breath in. Go get your mat, and I'll see you for Pilates core. Hi, welcome to Pilates core. I'm gonna be sure we go very slow, very controlled. I have two pound hand weights in my hand. All right, 13 exercises. So, pinkies down. We're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. You're just gonna come to your forehead, and down, and over your head. So, Pilates inspired core. 
nice, slow, and controlled. So I don't want you coming right by your ears. Just come to the diagonal front corners where you can see your hand weight. Right there. Nice, slow, and controlled. Roll it up, one vertebra at a time, and roll it down, one vertebra at a time. Now give me one more. One more. All right, let's go into the traditional Pilates 100. Knees in, heels super glued together, toes apart, legs at a 45, palms down, begin splashing water. Inhale for five and exhale for five. Ready? This is 100. Let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, two. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, three. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, four. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, five more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Five. Exhale, two, three, four, two. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, three. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, and release. All right. Hand weights. We're going to do a roll up. Feet are flexed. You're going to roll up, go past your toes, and then roll down. One vertebra at a time. Shoulders back and away from your ears. Right there. Move through that wet cement. Rolling up one vertebra at a time. Rolling down one vertebra at a time. Hand weights are there just to challenge you a little more. As you're moving through your wet cement, controlling your movement, coming up one vertebra at a time, shoulders melted back and away from your ears. One more roll up and one more roll down. Right here. Woo. And roll it down, reposition yourself. If you feel you've come off your mat. All right, guys. We're just gonna, we're gonna go one elbow to the opposite knee and straighten right here. So you can have one hand weight in that hand of the elbow. The elbow goes to the outside of the knee. As you come back, look over your shoulder, right there. Working internal, external, obliques. Moving through that wet cement. Let's go. Now, if you take a Pilates class, this is most definitely not the sequencing of a traditional Pilates mat class. I teach that, I'm classically trained. I said this is Pilates inspired core. All right, now put the weight in your other hand. Elbow to the outside of the knee, then look over your shoulder. Move through that wet cement. You really want that opposite elbow to touch the outside of that knee. Let's go. Nice, slow, and controlled. Never hold your breath. Always exhale on that exertion. Nice, slow. I always like to visualize of ultimate great form, moving through that wet cement. One more, feel that contraction. All right, quick break. Grab your other hand weight, super glue your forehead to your knees. You have a top hat, you're gonna take it off as you lengthen your leg, and then come back around like a dead bug. Lengthen, hands do not go behind the ears. And in, and lengthen, and in, shoulders off the mat, 
no weights required. Length and I definitely do one heavier than three. Not at all. Lengthen and come around. Lengthen, move through that wet cement and come around. Two more. Lengthen and come around. One more. Lengthen and come around. All right, let's do the pre-teaser. Super, super glue the insides of your knees together. You're gonna lift one leg, weights, no weights, I don't care. Palms down, you're gonna roll up like you're trying to touch your toe and then roll down. So the inside of your knees are super glued together. This is the pre-teaser. You're rolling up one vertebra at a time and you're rolling down one vertebra at a time. Shoulders melted back and away from your ears. There's no tension in your head, neck or shoulders. Go as slow as you need to. Try to keep that leg straight. Remember, just because it's low impact does not mean it's not full of high intensity, right? And now come down, other leg. Inner thighs, super glued. Insides of your knees are super glued. And you are just melting your shoulders back and away from your ears. And your core is pulling you up and you're coming down one vertebra at a time with ultimate control. We have five more exercises to push through. Now, if you can't do this, feel free to come up with both feet on the ground. But I do want you to try a couple because that's how you're gonna get stronger. The more you do it, the stronger you get. Super glue those inner thighs together. All right, quick relax. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lift both legs to the ceiling. I'm gonna do palms down by my side. It's gonna lower one leg and lift. Lower and lift. Right here. If too much on your back, bend your knees, do toe taps, just like this. Your upper body is not off the mat. So the heel taps right here. Palms face each other now. You may like that feeling of palms facing each other. Those hand weights really make a difference. Right here. No tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. More each side. Quick break. All right, you're gonna come up. Feet are in tabletop position. Hands are in a T position, palms down. And you roll to one side, but your bottom knee does not touch the ground. And then you just take both knees to the other side. This is a beginner. Your knees do not touch the ground. Now, if you're good with that, you would bend, straighten, bend, come in. You would then bend, straighten, come in. If you have better, if you're better than that, you can do all straight legs. That is your choice. So your palm down in a T position. Your bottom leg does not touch the ground. Spinal rotation and oblique work. One more each way. One more each way, people. One more. All right, very quickly. Turn onto your stomach. I want to get your back. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's rest our hands into our forehead. 
lift your thighs off of the mat, put your heels, working that low back extension. If it's too much for your pelvis because you have a bony pelvis, just flutter kick your leg. Or double, double um, cushion your pelvis. That's another great way to do it. Because a lot of, if you're bony, you're gonna feel it in your pelvis area. Kick your heels together, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms in front, legs long. You're gonna lift opposite arm right now, opposite leg. Lift opposite arm, opposite leg, switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Now switch, opposite arm, opposite leg. Now switch, opposite arm, opposite leg, working back extensors. And now switch, opposite arm long, point that opposite toe. Now switch, now switch. 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 Now, all you're gonna do, legs stay on the ground, don't look at me, just listen. All you're gonna do is swim your arms forward and back to the sides of your thighs. Arms forward, swim back. Your legs stay on the ground. Arms forward, out to the side. Arms forward, 40 seconds. When we're all done, we're gonna cool down, and we're gonna stretch, and we're gonna call it a day with this cardio burn and Pilates inspired core. Now core is abdominals, back, glutes. There's more to core than just your abdominals. Give me 10 seconds. Swim forward and back. One more, wherever you're at. Let's stretch it out, child's pose. Knees are wide, butt on your heels, arms forward. Quick stretch, everyone. Great workout today. I hope you're enjoying my fit and strong, low impact series. Tons of 100% totally different workouts. All right, walk your arm to one side. Get a nice stretch into the outside, into your lap. Walk your arms to the other side. Walk your arms center one more time. Get a nice back stretch. I want you to come onto all fours right now. Cat cow stretch. I love this for a spine. Go at your own timing. Such a great stretch. We should do this every day. Two more. All right, curl your toes under, butt to the ceiling, downward facing dog. Heels down. Ugh. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Feel that stretch in through the calves. My hands are slipping. Lift one leg, three-legged dog. Bend that leg that's lifted. Put that leg down, lift your other leg. Lift it, and when you're at the top, put a bend. That's a three-legged dog. Put that leg down, sit back in your downward facing dog. Take one foot forward, put the other back knee on the ground, lift. Put your hands on the ground, go back into downward facing dog. Now, take that other leg, step it forward in between your knees. Drop your back knee on the ground, shoelaces to the ground, lift.
Take your hands, place it in between your foot. Curl that back toe under. Take that front leg back. Downward facing dog. One last time, walk your hands back to your feet. Place your hands under the front of your toes. Lift your upper body, stretch out your shoulder blades. Release your hands, soft bend in your knees. Clasp your hands together behind you on your back. Chest expansion with a forward fold. Release your hands, put a bend in your knee. Hands on the tops of your thighs, roll it up one vertebra at a time. Deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale. And exhale, take one hand up and over. Guys, stretching, flexibility, range of motion, just as important as a cardiovascular, just as important as a core and strength. Up and over, other side. Okay, place the hands on the insides of your knees. Look over your left shoulder. Spinal rotation. Look over your right shoulder. One more time, look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Toe heel in, toe heel. Deep breath. And exhale, one more time, one more time, come on. Deep breath in. And exhale, come here, come here. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, you ready? Give me a high five. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Like, this is like real redonkulous sweat on me. We had a hard workout in this fit and firm, low pack, fit and strong, low impact series, this cardio burn and Pilates inspired core. I'll see you for our next workout.